Hello there and welcome to this Network Topologies video as part of OCR J276 GCSE Computer Science. Uh, today we are going to be looking at Star and Mesh Network Topologies as you can see there. Uh, so let's get cracking and looking at some topologies. So there's the all, uh, all challenge and expert that we're looking at for today's lesson so you know where we're pitching at things. Let's get cracking. So Star Networks are called network, Star Networks cunningly enough because they are shaped like a star. So we have got our central server or central hub in the middle. And then coming off from there, we have got multiple different clients. So you can see it looks like a star. So it is called a star network. So if I'm over here and I want to connect to it, there we go. Nice, easy and simple. If I'm over here and I want to connect to it, nice easy and simple so star networks if you need to add more devices you can do that happy days if you want to um, update things all you need to do is update the server and then that sends out all the updates to the, all the other networks you will have noticed if you've already watched the client server video that client server networks are essentially star networks with the one server in the middle if I want to be able to make sure things are as useful as possible so for example if someone comes along with a pair of scissors and cuts this network cable here this person is impacted because he's not got a connection to the server but the rest of the server is fine if this person over here gets a virus he's impacted by it but in lo as long as the server has got a good firewall and good antivirus software the server is fine everyone else stays uninfected it's cheap it's easy to set up. Uh, in your homes, you will have a, a home hub or something, some sort of internet connection um, switch or router deliver, delivered to you or given to you by your provider. You have set up a star network because everything is connected. So in my house, I've got my server in the middle and then I've got my PS4, my Switch, my PC, mobile phones, tablets connected to it. So you use star networks all the time. However, the major, major problem with the star network is if we take the server and if it gets damaged if someone smashes it with a hammer or if it gets a virus infected onto it or if it goes offline the entire network fails so I've got my router at the moment up quite high it's away from anything that could possibly damage it or it go no water gets put near it but if somehow a pipe leaks and water comes through the ceiling and hits it my server goes down I don't have an internet connection so star networks are quick, cheap, easy, reliable to set up. But if something happens to that centralized server, the network's kaput. Which brings us on to mesh networks. Mesh networks are not a star network. Um, and they get their names because, as you can see from the lovely picture that I'm drawing, and again, I'm not an art teacher whatsoever, they look like mesh. All the other devices are connected to the other devices. So we can see if we've got someone here who wants to connect to a server here or a resource over here, they've got their own dedicated connection to them. That is very good. It's very fast. It's very reliable. They're not going to be worrying about network connection problems because they've got their own dedicated cable. If this person goes down, the rest of the network's fine. If this server goes down, the rest of the network's fine. If this person here goes around with a pair of scissors cutting this wire here this wire here this wire here then this person here is still fine because he's got other ways of connecting to those devices which then gets him to where he needs to be going so it's very good but you've guessed it very 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 expensive it's difficult to set up you need specialist hardware specialist software to be able to interpret it you'll need to employ a network manager to keep everything up and running they're very, very, very reliable, very good, but they've got a significant attached to cost attached to them in terms of equipment, in terms of setup, and in terms of reliability and maintainability. So, what are star mesh networks? Advantages, disadvantages, what hardware? That last one, you need to do a little bit of research. I'll give you a little bit of a quick spoiler. Star networks requires less and it's cheaper compared to mesh networks but by now you probably already know that give the video a quick pause and we'll move on 
So, star versus mesh networks. When would you use them? Where would you use them? The main impacts, and you need to think about how you're going to be looking at this, is cost, equipment, sizes. So if we think about cost, if cost isn't an issue, we'll go mesh. If you're trying to do something on a budget, we'd go for star. Equipment, if you don't have much equipment, we'll go for star. If not, we'll go for mesh. If you're thinking about a small network, I'd go for star because it's quick and easy to do, whereas a mesh, large size, but then it imp impacts on the cost. Also, think about the staffing required. With a star network, pretty much anybody can set up a star network, whereas mesh, it requires specialist knowledge. That specialist staffing then goes back to costs as well. So different areas to be looking at and considering when you want to be setting up a star and mesh network. Also, think about the use of the networkers as well. It would be a little bit overkill, I'd be happy to admit that if I was going to set up a mesh network at my home to be able to connect my PS4, my Switch, my phones all together, it's quite overkill. Inside a school, yes there's loads of classrooms, but does each computer in a classroom need its own dedicated connection to all the other cl um, classrooms? No it doesn't. Whereas if we're thinking about something like the server rooms over at NASA, they would want a mesh connection because they'd be able to want to have all those devices communicating and talking with each other. So the last thing to do today, think about the implementation, the usage of star mesh networks. When would you use them? I hope this video has been useful for you. See you later.